fucking throat, dude. Hello all, and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Lorcan Berg. Um, so this past week, I attended um, Plet Rage. <laughs> um, if you're unaware of what this is, it is a week-long festival taking place in Plettenberg Bay, South Africa, consisting of predominantly techno, um, with a few sort of South African headliners sprinkled in there for a diversification in music taste. Um, acts such as PH Fat, Jack Parrow, Nick Preen, very fuego. So another thing about Plet Rage is that you traditionally go um, the year you matriculate from... Fuck's sake. As I was saying, right, so you traditionally go the year you matriculate, um, and the stigma is that if you go after that, you're a bit sort of creepy and weird, because why else would you be there? Um, and I completely agree. Right, so I'm no expert on the comings and goings of festival life, but I survived the week, um, so I think that gives me enough authority to give all you future ragers a few tips and pointers, you know? So let's do that. In this video, I will be reviewing all sort of the main aspects of Plet Rage um, and in between giving you sort of little tidbits of advice. Right, so first and foremost, accommodation. You're gonna wanna book accommodation as soon as possible because you don't wanna end up like me and end up booking your shit in June and staying in the campsite. Uh, that's right, June, six months before the festival, every house, Airbnb, hotel is booked, right? So get on that. Right, well that brings me swiftly onto my next topic, uh, money. Um, and let me just say first and foremost, fuck me, Plet Rage is expensive. And sort of depending on how much you wanna be drinking, a lot and um, how good you want to be eating and if you want to buy your family a souvenir I'd say take north of 3,000 Rand to be safe well this segues nicely into the next topic I want to talk about which is transport um, so you're gonna to want to bring up a separate 3,000 just to get from point A to point B um, I'm kidding obviously but um, the transport bill does tend to reach rocket heights because let rage hikes up the price basically what they've done is we've all seen those minibus taxis you know the one that will overtake your mum and she'll get all angry about it um let rage just basically slapped a let rage sticker onto every single one of those in Pledenburg bay told them that they'd be using a token system and that was that um the token system is where you have to buy little token yellow tokens that say plet rage on it and you give set amount to, to the driver to get from here to here each token costs 20 rand and a journey either costs one two or three tokens depending on how you want to where you want to go and how far you want to go oh. <sighs> moving on swiftly they did however redeem themselves um, by making transport at night free because I mean the only place you go at night is main stage we'll get to that later that was very nice of them to make you know night transport free very nice that wretch good touch good redeeming touch um, right the music is the next thing I want to talk about um, and who knew there was a techno remix of every song ever made uh, if you went to Pet Rage, you would. <laughs> Am I right? My rages. <laughs> right, so if you... <laughs> at Bikini Beach, which is the beach bar day location, I've said that three times now, um, you don't realise until halfway through, but they just play the same set of songs in a different order every day, but somehow you still manage to have a good time. I mean, I know I fucking certainly did. <laughs> <laughs> At night, it's a little different because there are two stages, main stage and base cabin. Um, at main stage, they have the headliners like the guys I mentioned earlier. Um, and it's fun, 
Um, but it also gets super crowded. They play the same songs as at Bikini Beach, and it gets boring after a couple of days. Uh, at Bass Cabin, they play, like, I don't want to say real techno, but not techno remixes. At Bass Cabin, they have um, more low key, sort of local DJs who play their own music that they've created, which is super fun to dance to, and also it's. Uh, way less crowded. <laughs> Super chill vibes, dude. Next item on the agenda is uh, clothing. If you're a male, um, simple. Shorts during the day, Hawaiian shirts, um, and then you end up sort of buttoning it all the way down because you just get so fucking boozed. <laughs> um, then you just need to take up like two pairs of jeans just for night time and then just rotate between those for the whole week and again Hawaiian shirts at night end up with it buttoned all the way down and yeah you know right that's sort of sort of that oh don't forget slip slops or sliders essential last but most certainly not least it's uh <laughs> my best friend you know booze help me right so let me just say first things first if you want to be able to dance for up to 10 hours for seven days in a row double vodka red bulls are going to be your best friend these fellas will get you drunk enough to think that you're all right and also give you that extra little kick just to get through and um, they had a special on where a double vodka Red Bull cost 57 Rand. Now, I know that is cheaper than in most clubs, but it's uh, still pretty expensive. There's one thing that uh, really pissed me off. You know, forget everything I said before this, but uh, this really fucking pissed me off. Um, only two types of beer. And which types of beer do I not hear you asking someone on your fucking screen? Could it be Castle Light? Could it be Castle? Could it be Black Label? Could it even be Heineken? No. Corona and fucking Budweiser. Now I know what you're thinking. But Lorcan, there was also flying fish. That's not a fucking beer, that's a pussy drink. <clears throat> Pick your shit up, Plet Rage. I didn't pay an ungodly amount of money for piss water and Corona, which is actually... Corona is pretty nice, I won't lie. If anyone from the Plet Rage team is actually watching this, it's just a facade. I'm just kidding. I had a great time. Please don't sue me. Uh, but yeah, beer costs 27 to 30 rand. Stay away from shots if you don't want to end up with your head in the toilet. Uh, don't mix your drinks too much. And for the love of God, don't get a rum bucket. Not because they don't taste bad, but because it's just so inconvenient to try and dance in a fucking crowded dance floor holding a bucket of alcohol because it's either inconvenient for you because you can't really move or it's inconvenient for the person you just spilled a bucket of rum on okay um let me just say right the service was amazing off the charts right very quick and the barman and barmaids were extremely friendly considering they had to serve drunk teenagers for a week so props to you guys if any of you are even watching this i don't know why you would be but uh props to you anyways um if you think i've missed anything uh don't let me know in the comments uh keep it to yourself or better yet make your own video because uh this is my viewpoint and get your own um, but in all seriousness, I did have a very, very good time, and I would recommend to anyone watching this video right now, go to Plet Rage when you matriculate, not after you matriculate, when you matriculate, because it's fucking good. Fucking cracking week, I'll show in some images right now. And on that note, I will love and leave you, um, show this to someone who's going to Plet Rage next year, or the year after that, or any years to come, because, you know, who knows? It might just make their experience a tad easier.